It's been a struggle, but we got here. Ow! The fuck is that? Indeed. Interesting music. I don't know if I like this music. So that's the first boss. <laughs> and then that's the first enemy. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so the story about this one is, I got to this one first and I was waiting for everyone else. So the next day, I did leveling roulette. I got this. Oh no. And then I did sacrilege. By the way, mechanic. I don't know what this is. Oh my god! Well done! You learn quick. With me. Oh, okay, I just might move then. <laughs> Good mechanic, I do like this mechanic, but dungeon's still kind of meh to start with. Especially compared to the first dungeon, the first dungeon was really good to open with. Alright, off we go. It's supposed to be the destructive civilization of this area, so I'm giving it a bit of lenience, so I face that okay, thing so before. I need to take back what I just said. Why are we facing the Rocky Hitmonchan? Did that, what is that thing? What the hell are you? It's Geodude crossed with Hitmonchan. What is that? Why do I want to get on the opposite side? Yeah. Oh my! I dodged that! Oh shit. Dodge this! You're welcome. <laughs> what was that? A faint right echo through the That wasn't fucking faint. <laughs> huh. Whoops! <laughs> so yeah, I might have uh, done that. I noticed I was here. <laughs> by accident or by deliberation? No, no, that was definitely an accident. I might have done that by accident or on purpose. Oh look, got a fight. An unsettling cry, oh no. Are we fighting a plant? I'm guessing we're about to hit the next boss. Whatever gives you that idea. The fact that we're coming to a circle room. No! No. Nope. More iguanas. A piece Okay, whatever it is, is beyond the room. Whatever it is, is the second boss. A deafening- What the hell is that?! That? No! 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 We get back there. <laughs> Whatever that thing is is going down. I it's a bat. I don't want it anything. Is a I want nothing to do with that thing. It looks like Twin Rover. Ow! 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 ow. Can you not, please? There you go. All is all is forgiven. Ugh. Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? We gotta be getting really close now. All is forgiven. <laughs> Have a thing. Uh, monkey's up to the top left, so watch your AOEs. How far is that reach? What do you think? They can still reach the Durgan. Oh, oh good! They jumped down! Jumped down! In a way, so now they're chasing you. You happy? We don't know that was the cause. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh yeah, we don't know whether that's the cause proceeds to get obliterated. Ow! Cutscene. Oh my god, it... No! <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Oh. Who's ready to get devoured? Four people? <sighs> easy One wins, easy skins, everybody. One for two. No, one for one, actually. Oh, one for one. Okay. Because we didn't wipe to Titania, so... Oh, so actually, that'd be two to one, then. Yeah, we're Titania two... Light Award. Yeah, we're two for one. We go all the way through. Huh, and look who's coming up the rear. <laughs> it's a bit late, guys. Soon he's taking Why? Time. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I am Cerberus. Hear me roll. <laughs> R 
condition yet troubleth thee? It does. Though she shows no immediate signs of corruption, the danger remains. She must be told. Would you describe it to me, Marie Angers? Paint for me a picture with your words. sea of shimmering stars, diamonds strewn across a raven gown, boundless and beautiful. It is an exquisite sight, not unlike that of the source, calm and gentle and forgiving. I can see it. For however deep the void or wide the expanse, there is no shore so distant as to be beyond the reach of light. <coughs> Must you always linger after defeating your enemies? Navigating these halls on foot is exhausting. Come to lead us to safety, have you? I was bored. Ah, oh, there is a sight to bring a tear to the eye. You recognize these scenes? That I do. Indeed, there was a time when anyone and everyone would. Before the Great Sundering, there was one world. A world that knew naught but peace and prosperity. Until it was faced with a crisis. Unprecedented. Terrifying. Civilization found itself perched upon a precipice, staring into oblivion. But through prayer and sacrifice, the will of the star was made manifest. Zodiac was his name, and by his grace was the calamity averted. A savior mighty and magnificent, deserving of reverence and gratitude. One would have thought, yet some thought otherwise. From the fears of these naysayers would rise Hydalin, she who was to serve as his shackles, to bind him and hold him in check. So they fought, and they fought, and they fought, and in the end, Hydaelyn was victorious. That concludes today's lesson on long-forgotten history. Though I imagine your mother would offer a rather contradictory account, as is her wont. I'm sorry, I can only assume I misheard. But it sounded an awful lot like you were implying both Zodiac and Hydaelyn are not gods. But... What? Not gods of the first? Is that what you thought these paintings depicted? Or... Oh. Oh. They are gods after a fashion. Yes, but no different from the kind with which you are so intimately acquainted. Formed of faith and prayer, of conviction and devotion. 
the eldest and most powerful of primals. How is it you are privy to ancient secrets lost to time? <laughs> Finally, finally you ask the right question. And shrewd questions warrant honest answers. We Asians know because it is our history, our story. It was we who summoned Zodiac, we natives of that sundered paradise. Do you see why we yearn for the great rejoining? For our world. For our people. For all creation to be made whole again. Wouldn't you wish for the same? <laughs>